After three months of waiting, this package finally arrives at my door, and it's time to unbox this to see what it is. So let's bring it here. Oh my goodness. I just realized how hard it's going to be. Doing everything one-handed. Chop this. That went well. That went to so well, right? Okay, that's good. Yes, underside. Wait, we must handle it with care. See? Fragile. Handle with care. So, let's go here and do this part. I'm bad at this, man. Hiya! Open sesame. Oh my goodness. There we go. And for the top part, I'm going to I'm gonna not show you guys since I have some shipping information here. So, just one moment. Hey, uh, open sesame. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Bad Toy Store. Your tape is amazing. But I'm still going to have to cut you open. <clears throat> okay. What's in it? Yes, I've been waiting for this for three months, and it's finally here. Here it is, guys. It's a car, 10th anniversary, Optimus Prime. It's finally here in all its glory. This looks amazing. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get this open. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love this thing. Ooh. Go check out Big Bad Toy Store if you guys want, want, want some. I mean, this is my first one that I ever got. And Big Bad Toy Store, oh my god, you are, are amazing. Oh, shipping. Thank you for your order. Thank you. Well, I am so pleased to say that I'm happy about this. I can't wait to get this guy open, and I'm going to review it, guys. Hello, everybody. Um... I'm not sure if I'm the first one to do this, but he, I am here today, your newbie new YouTuber, Caleb Park, here to review a toy. As you can see right in front of you, this is NB-11, the Takara t movie, 10th anniversary, Optimus Prime by Takara Tomy. Um, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store, and how amazing it is. You can't see it, because I already took it out. I, I got the package, and I just couldn't resist opening, opening it. But at least I did an opening of that box package. So, as you can see, here we have Optimus on the side, as it is Optimus right here, Optimus right there, Ironhide right there, and then a very nice shot of Optimus right there, mm -hmm. from the Dark of the Moon poster, right here, Transformers movie the best, Optimus to Karatomi. And then, I can't read Japanese, but I am in Japanese class, so in four years, I'll be able to read this, but I'm doing this review now, so too bad. I don't know what this means. Age of Extinction, Dark of the Moon, Revenge of the Fallen, and the first movie in 2007, Transformers. Oh, wait, no, we'll go to the other side. An amaz another amazing one of Tra Optimus. I don't know, something that says uh, something in Japanese, something like 10 years, 2007. I don't know. And the bottom... Warning labels. Transformers the burst. Woohoo. I'm trying to be like one YouTuber if you know. Um, but here is the back. Transformers movie the best. MB10. MB11, I mean. Um, I don't know what this means. Don't know what this means. Don't know what this means. But there's Optimus in his vehicle and in his Robama. And if you haven't noticed, this is the Revenge of the Fallen leader class mold. It just has a few uh of it just has these like clips that he has on his chest. Um, it's not flip out sword, it is actually like clip in. And it has also the Buster Prime version where which means that his gas tanks will become his guns. Mm. But that will all be displayed in his when we actually go to the toys. So let's get right to it. So here we are at the vehicle mode of the MV11 Takara 10th Anniversary Optimus Prime. Um, this is basically a repaint and a kind of remold, 
of the Revenge of the Fallen Leader class, Optimus Prime. That was released back then. And I, to be honest, I can't give you a really good perspective of what the differences are. Because I never got that version. So this version is the first version I have of this guy. And to say the very least, it is a great figure. Um, he has a lot of nice paint apps, uh, orange gradient that goes here, some nice Autobot logo, some shiny silver, um, my, I think my light is shining over it, um, silver over here, wheels, wheels are silver, silver painted, it's plastic, but it works, nice trailer hitch, it is hollow right here, like, I can put my pinky finger to it, yeah, but like, it works. This will become the leg area. And there's a trailer hitch right here. Some nice... I wish this plastic part was a different color. Like maybe painted silver. Because this covers the battery section. And like... I'm not, I'm not sure how well that's going across. But this part is a totally different color from the inside part right there. So... My only wish was that, paint, that was painted silver or something. Or the other part was painted that gray. But that gray is a nasty gray, so. And you see his gas tanks right here. Um, if you wanted to display it in vehicle mode, ve leave it displayed this way. This way, oops, I am so sorry. Leave it displayed this way, because his gas tanks become one gun. But this side, like, there's, like, cracks all over it, because, like, the mold and, like, you have to mess around with the gun. I'll get to, get to that later, and, yeah, some nice silver on here. These... Winds, the smokestacks move up and down, which was bothering someone when it was packaged like this in the box. I remember I was reading an article on it, and like it was like it was display on this, like in the box. And I was like, someone that's bothering me, and it bothered a lot of people. And yeah, um, just like the Revenge of the Fallen, these white winds, wind cutters, I don't know what they're called, um, they can be move to any position you want um they're on a ball joint right there and there's a hinge right there so you can move it up and down like this and can you can move it wherever you want like this you can move it like this if you want but for me and that goes well with b all, both sides but for me i just like to keep it like this standard normal even though it's not like that i don't even know oh well and he comes with a voice um uh, the, the voice gets really, like, a lot. A, the voice comes out a lot in the robot mode, but in the vehicle mode, you have the truck sound. And the lights come on inside, so it is pretty nice. I don't even know where that, which part that is from, but it's pretty nice. You read. And the lights are pretty nice here. Um, it's pretty nice. It's a really nice truck in general. Um, for his weapons, they don't get really into it in the vehicle mode. Um, not all weapons in any robot particular do, but you see, um, the guns here are his gas tanks, like I mentioned previously. So you can do that, but you also have these ports right here on top, which you can put these on. These are his weapons. I'm going to display this more later. But they have a port right here. And you just put it inside like this. Down on top. And let's put the hook in. Just for kicks and grins. And yeah. Yay. Um, vehicle weapon storage is not always the greatest. Which is why I just leave it off to the side. Um, but... You know, what can you say? What can I say? Um, for... Don't know, stay there. Yeah. Let's get on to the vehicle mode comparison. So for the vehicle mode comparison, we're going to compare this guy to two other, ve two other vehicles. The first one being this guy. This is the Silver Knight Optimus Prime. I believe it was the premiere edition for the Age of Extinction. But if you have the first edition Optimus Prime for the Age of Extinction line, this is pretty much the same thing. Just a horrible repaint. Um, but that goes on in robot mode. This guy just only has three colors. Chrome, silver, and red. 
this guy, <clears throat> excuse me, has a whole bunch of other f colors. So here, here he is compared. Um, wait. He is a little, he is taller. And I think, I don't know, camera, go up. Stay there, camera, stay there. No, camera, no. Uh, sorry, guys, technical difficulties. Let me lift it up. Yeah. This is what you're supposed to do. And I think they're the same height. I'm not sure. I think they are. Yes, they are the same height. So you can see how they stack up nicely. Well, making it a little bit lower. There we go. And yeah, it is pretty nice. This guy is bigger, but I would I would sacrifice size over detail and this guy is a great explanation. This guy is proof that I wouldn't want him. But moving him off to the side. Next we have <clears throat> the leader prime of the Age of Extinction line. And I believe depend depending on where you look at it, this guy is high taller. Um, if you look at it from the smokestacks. And no, lift, gotta lift it up. Woohoo! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lifting it up. Lift you, raise me up. And, um, yeah, uh, lead, the uh, Takara one is taller compared to this guy. Then we go down low. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Oh god. Oh lord. Help me. Ah, <sighs> my bad, my bead, my bad, but you can see how he scales there, and now he, he's, he scales pretty nicely, I mean, this guy should be more big, bigger and taller, but this guy's better overall anyway, I mean, I would just, who did, who liked this figure anyway, no offense to Hasbro, it was all P yellow, so much armor bits, and yeah. So, moving on off to the side. Unfortunately, that is all I have to compare it to. There are leaders. Um, yeah, not much. My collection is not that great compared to other collectors who are actually into this. So now, let us all get into robot mode with a little bit of magic. Um, I'm not going to go into transformation because it's not much different from the Revenge of the Fallen one. It is completely the same. The bits on his chest don't hinder motion um, transformation at all. So with a little bit of movie magic, we can go from this to the robot mode, like this, to looking like this. And man, this is the best part of the figure, the robot mode. I remember when I was really young and I wanted to get the Revenge of the Fallen leader class one, and my parents would not let me. Partic particularly because we were in a different country and they're like, ah, oh, nah, he's not going to keep it. But I remember the days when I was just in my living room and I was just wa on my iPad, the first iPad, and I was just watching reviews from Off the Bottom as MGO 316, um, Pog, P-E-A-U-G-H. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And I remember just watching every single one of them review this figure and go like, this is the most accurate representation of Optimus Prime from the Transformers movie. And he is. This is by far, I, in my opinion, the best one yet because I'm agreeing with them. I'm a bandwagon person. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Um, this is Optimus Prime. And like I said before, these parts don't hinder transformation. So it's all right. And this guy is just amazing. He, he His transformation is particularly difficult, so I wonder how kids would do it. I mean, I had struggles with it, and I'm a high schooler, but man, this is amazing. Um, some parts that he has that other, other figures don't is wrist articulation. I'm going to try to show this off. His wrist is articulated, so his thumb joint can move up it's on a ball joint right there 
and his fingers can move like this, like that, or like this. It is on both hands, so both hands can be articulated. Like, you can do that scene like, we take the fight to damn, you know? That once iconic scene in Dark of the Moon, where the Autobots come back. Oh, sorry, spoilers. I'm just kidding. Hopefully you all know that. Um, and his wrist is amazing. I mean, the detail on his wrist and on his body overall in general is just amazing. Let's start off at the head area on a really nice ratchet. Let's start off at the head area. It's a very nice one. Oh, God. Ooh, let's do it like this. Let's use some camera skills. So let's zoom in on the figure. And that just made it 20 times blurrier. But this is the head. And if you can't tell, there's like a little bronze right there. Right there. Oh, stupid finger. There's like a little bronze right there. I'm not sure if you can tell what if you, if that's there. But it just makes the head overall complete. His head can rotate. Um, but these plates particularly like mess around with it. But look, they have silver. Oh god, on these parts. I'm not sure if that, nah, they have nothing on the back. And that's amazing, man. This is these head is overall great. And then zooming out a bit because the chest area. The chest area is where I think things start to get interesting. Now, besides these three chest pieces, if you can't tell right in there, under these hood sections, he has an Autobot symbol. Right there, that's an Autobot symbol. And that is just amazing detail. There's a great molded detail inside already, but it is just amazing. And this part, it is like accurate to the movie, and we'll get down to the legs later. His arms are great too. Do you see right here? It's just before I think on the Revenge of the Fallen, it was just a nice silver, but there's like a hint of blue right there, which matches everything. And then on this side, if you um right there, his arm joint, the shoulder part, half of it is red, half of it is silver. I'm not sure what it is about, but that just completes the whole look. And then I'm not sure what color this is, a bronze or a brown, but it is added on here. And even on the elbow joint right here, there's some blue there on the elbow. Some nice blue here. And I'm at that same car. I think it's orange. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but they added it in here. But they didn't have to do that. Because if you can't tell, he has this thing blocking it, and this thing blocking it, which is overall just, it's amazing what they can do, what you can do if you just put your mind into it, and wow, and I already talked about the wrist, he has no paint, it's a gray plastic, but this arm part, except for the hole here, are amazing, same thing, it's the same thing on the other arm, and then we get down to the legs, legs, leg, legs go. So, oh god, no! Sorry, that is my bad. Oh my goodness. My bad for not having an actual camera set up. Holy cow. Oof. Everyone alright? Is everyone okay? Good, I think we're good. So, let me lower my phone. Guys, this is a phone. I'm so sorry. But, is what I have to deal with? You know, you make the best out of what you have. And so here we go, getting down to his legs, some silver paint, and the inside is where they worked a lot on. I'm going to try to show this off as best I can. There's that same orange or brown in, in, in the, even inside here too. Like, I'm not sure if that's noticeable, but like on the inside, like there's a silver, and then on the outside it's just a nice orange, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's an orange or a gold. I can't tell. And it's just amazing overall. If you go down here to his legs, um, same thing from the Revenge of the Fallen, I believe. His feet are amazing. His big feet on ball joints. His big feet. And this cool part is that it's spring-loaded, which adds a little bit more space and depth to it. Like, you can leave it like this, but it's clicked. And 
on the back of this, we have this. I don't even know what that is. I don't even remember seeing that in the movie. But they added that and it just completes the look. I'm not sure if they had it in Revenge of the Fallen one. And look, the same. It was on the inside of here, right? But on the outside, they even have it here. But I can't, I didn't even realize that until just now. Like the wheels cover it. And it's just amazing how much this, how much thoughts and paint was into this, man. I mean, for a hundred dollars, I think it's worth it personally. No matter what other people say, I think it's worth it. And now, oh God, no, stand up straight, please. You need to stand up straight. Um, what YouTubers don't mention when and and I don't think I've heard this from any YouTuber. Oh god. And that's a clear example is that he's back heavy. Um maybe it's because of the batteries I put, but you see got to raise my phone a bit. No, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Stay alive. Lifting it up just a bit. And he is a little bit back heavy, you see. They don't, YouTubers often don't show it. They're like, oh my goodness, look at the back. It matches the movie. But I, I never seen a YouTuber talk about his backpack. It, it's a nice backpack, all things considered. But if you put batteries in like I did, it's going to really make him back heavy. And, well, I mean... Depending on how you look at the batteries, is it worth it to put it in there? For me, um, once I'm done with this, I'm taking the batteries out. I'm s unfortunately, because I don't understand Japanese. Because if you see, let me position him into a point where he's nice. Lifting it up just a bit. No, got to lift it up. Oh, God. Lift it. There we go. Right there. Now, if you see right here, I'm just going to put this down. Same like the Revenge of the Fallen one. You, the same way how you do the gimmick. Just push it down. And his chest will go up and then lights will go off. Like <laughs> Now, like I said before, I don't understand Japanese. So I can't give you the best translation ever. I don't even have a translation to offer to you. But he has a whole bunch of phrases. And like, what's the point of it if you're not going to understand anything? I mean, personally, I know a lot of you will hate me on this, but I want Peter Collins' voice saying, I am Optimus Prime, even if it's only one phrase. So I'm just going to play through this over and over. I believe that's all the phrases. I'm not sure. But, like, there's a whole review article on it if you want to see that. Um, I'm not even sure where it is now, to be honest. I'm just going to position these so it's movie accurate. And overall, it's a nice voice. The voice box is very nice. Like, don't get me wrong. But I don't understand it. So, like, I don't see what the point of it is for me. Um, now, you can activate it the same way. It's just that it's covered by this part of the backpack. You can activate the same way as it was in vehicle mode, but nope, I'm not going to do that. So now, let us get on to the weapons and accessories that he has. Now, he has a lot of weapons. He has the Buster Prime weapon. He has a whole bunch of these, and I'm just going to start it off. First, he has this. It is the punching thingamajigger that he used in Dark of the Moon against Shockwave when he was at his jetpack and he was raging at the Decepticons and he punches Shockwave like right on the chest area. Um, if you watch it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Or if you know it, then you'll also understand what I'm talking about. But the way to put it, if I can position this right, 
is you just get his fist. There's a tab right there. I'm going to slot inside. And you just tab it right there. Yes! Yeah, and you can recreate that scene. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice accessory. I don't think it can be used on Revenge of the Fallen. Like I said, I don't have Revenge of the Fallen to see, but I don't know. It might. He, he, the other accessories he has are his swords. Wait, no, you got to go back, Prime. Back, 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 back. He has two swords. One for his right, one for his left. Um, it doesn't matter. This can, the slots that have been on the truck can go in, or you can pull it out like this. But the swords, I believe, are identical. Yes, they are identical. Um, orange transclearing plastic, and then a silver paint over it. Backside is all molded detail. Screws, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I, I, what I want to take note is, I'm not sure how well this is going to go off. But there's a Cybertronian thing on there. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. There's a Cybertron symbol in there. Come on, work. Right there. I'm not sure how well that's going off. But it's on both swords. The same thing. So it's very nice. It's a very nice... I'm not sure how well that came off, but... There's a Cybertronian logo on it. Believe me. Believe me. You have my word for it. And the way to put it on, there's many ways to put it on. You can slot it, what the, slot it into his hand right like this, like this. And he can go like, yas. Position him like that. Yeah. Or you can pull it, uh, pull it out. Use the slot right here and the hole right here, like this. Um. I did not get it for that purpose, but thanks for the, you know, use of it. You know, and you can put, you can put these on either side of the hand. It does not matter. It's not, not one is intended for the left or the right. So I don't think it matters which side you put it. And yeah, and I'll put these right here over there to the side. Same with the punching. And we get onto the hooks. Now these are like, just like the hooks from the battle. Um, the ruined Optimus version of the Revenge of the Fallen. They're not flip out though. Mm, they work exactly like the swords. You can slot it in his hand or tab it in. Slot it right in that hole. And there's not no need for this much articulation. Look for it. Like you can go like this and you can make it like a sword. Not even sure if that's how it's meant to be. But you can slot in his hand um personally i think this is the weakest part of the figure um particularly because of its dull orange brown orange brownish color and you come with two they, it comes with two of these so you can put it on both hands just like the swords it does not matter which which way you put it in but yeah um this is the weakest part of the figure um uh, next to the voice this is the weakest part of the figure this hook it's not hooking me. Ha ha ha. Get it? I'm Captain Hookup now. I'm just kidding. But these hooks are the weakest part of the figure, in my opinion. It's, it has nice molded detail, don't get me wrong. But I'm just, compared to everything else, it's just really weak compared to others. Just placing it right there next to my stuff. And last, but certainly not least, are his guns. Which are right here. Now. No. Stand up straight, Prime. Stand up straight. There we go. Now all you have to do is... Tag, um, tag these. Pull this up. 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 Not down. Up. You have, that's the only way it's going to come out. Pull this up. And tap this back in. Um, please. There we go. See, the magic word is please, guys. That's the magic word right there. Now, putting them off to the side, let's get these guns transformed. You come off to. Now, I'm gonna go to the cleaner one. You can tell that this is the cleaner one because they had all the slot. You're gonna go to the cleaner one, and there's a slot right here. I'm just gonna push this up all the way, all the way like that. And that's it. You just, you're done with this tank, gas tank. 
this is where all the handling comes in. You're going to untab this from the side. And which panel is it? Right there. Closest to here. You're going to put your fingernails inside here and try to untap it. Now, admittedly, this was the hardest part for me. I was not familiar with how to do it. I watched like 20 videos and still couldn't get it. And I was really scared of like damaging it. Now, to be fair, it is already damaged, but that is besides the point. You move it out and you expose all this stuff. You're going to rotate this side, rotate this all the way down. You see this hook in there? You want that to go like that, like that, all the way there. And you're going to rotate this, or not. Yes, you are. You're going to rotate this. It's a flat like that. It's just a rest on there. Now we get to this part. Wait, move this out of the way. And there's a slot right there. You're just going to untab this like that. Untab it like that. Oh, God. I hope you all saw that. Untab it like that. And you can push, place this wherever you want. Move this out of the way. And there's where this part goes. There's a s pipe. Oh, come on, camera, please focus. Right there and right there. Just gonna go right there. Um, I'm not the best reviewer. I recognize that. Oh, come on. See, this is where this has to go. Like, don't be afraid. Like that. It has to go all the way. Like that. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Is it tabbed in? Yes, it is tabbed in. Woohoo. Now this part, you can do whatever you want. You can make it like this. You can do it like that. Um, personally, it goes here for me. But there's a slot right there, which you can plug his hands in. And if it only would slot in, that'd be the greatest thing ever. Like that. Ooh, no. It dropped. Great. But it slots in there. Don't worry. Mine is just like stiff and all new. Um, so here. Yeah, good enough. It's not completely slot in there. But it can slot. Trust me. Um, please work. I think that's good enough for me. Nope, it's not. But it goes in there. And you can make very nice poses with this gun. Oh, you can't even see his face. Like, oh, like that. Mm. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And that is wrapped up his, his accessories, I believe. We went to the fist, the hooks, the swords, and the guns. Yeah, that is it. So, let's compare him to other ones and see how he scales well. So, let us compare him to the other figures. The Silver Knight Optimus and the Leader Class. Age of Extinction Prime Optimus. So first we have Age of Extinction Optimus. And he is shorter. Of course he is. This guy was bigger, better, in every single way. And he is a lot more movie actor compared to this guy. No offense, Hasbro. No offense. Hope you don't take my offensive. Hope you don't take offense by it. Oops, my bad. Sorry, my brain farted. I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. And here we have Silver Knight Optimus. Um, depending on how you look at it, this Optimus is taller if you scale it by the head. I believe. Let me get my ruler. Yeah, this Optimus is taller by the head. But if you compare it by this. Like by the tip of the smokestacks, this Optimus Prime is taller. Depending on how you look at it, this obviously this Optimus is taller since his head is taller, but his backpack helps him, like the smokestacks and everything. Either or works, and since we have the ruler here, Optimus Prime is, I think, over 10 inches? Not quite 11. Not quite. Not quite 11. Um, but there we have it, you know, let me bring in this one just for kicks and grins, you know, 
he is obviously the shorter of the bunch. But this guy is taller. And that would make sense. But it would also make sense if these two were also... Maybe this guy was a little bit taller. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? So now... I'm going to go into my overall overall thoughts and conclusion about this figure. So overall, this figure is a really great figure. With its paint apps, its accessories, its voice, although I can't understand it, is all in all great. Almost forgot to display the gun. I'm going to go right there. All the accessories are in the back. And it is a great figure, just in general. And, yeah. I know this video was a really long video, but I just wanted to take this time and thank whoever, whichever one of you is watching up to this point. Thank you so much. Your support means so much to me, even though I'm a newbie YouTuber and, you know, I'm not that famous. Only 16 subscribers um, and growing, but still stupid nuts. Um, but... Thank you so much for watching up to this point. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one reviewing this, but I do hope to be that YouTuber that you always look forward to. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.